Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for April 7th until 13th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody from the past. Looks like somebody from the past will be knocking on your door again, Gemini. Okay, now there's somebody from the past who is a younger Earth sign, okay? That is... You know, this person's personality is a little bit frivolous. They're very jolly, you know, jack of all trades. They're very resourceful and, you know, it has a lot of abilities, a lot of potentials. And they're also very good with whatever they do. Now, it seems like this person wants to reach out to you again in a, f in a way of, uh, you know, um, doing some rain checks or... Just to be friends. Because they don't know exactly if you're already taken or not. But then I feel like at this point, you will start reminiscing more about your past. What really happened in the past. Why did you broke up? Why did things did not really work out that, you know, um, that well? And um, this person used to be your world. That even though they are younger than you, and you're the one who's been, like, um, supporting both of you. This person have made you, you know, they, they've made you very happy. They gave you a lot of fulfillment. They've been your your inspiration. And they've been like, you know, your life as well. That's why they were your world. But then where, you know, well, why is it that things just suddenly go wrong and you did not, you know, you, when you broke up and you said that, okay, let's just live it off like this. You know, it's much better for you to, you know, to go on your way. I'm going to go on my way. And then that's it. You know, there, there's not even an argument, nothing, no fights. And right after that, it, it has been followed by long silence. And, you know, th this person did not even get in touch with you right away. And you hope that this person will still come back to you for how many years? Because you've consulted a lot of people. You've consulted a lot of, you know, um, readers as well. That this person is going to come back to you. And then you have lived with so much false hope. And now that you've already moved on. And now that you're already with somebody. This person is now finally knocking on your door. And asking for another chance. Or even if you're already with someone. They just wanted to be friends with you. Now what really happened in the past. Is because I feel like this person has struggled financially. And they really tried so hard to pull themselves up from from you know uh from their situation before and they don't want to let you know what really happened to them until that they are fully ready or until that they are you know fully equipped with the um with the answer that okay this is what happened to me in the past but now here i am you know i'm proud that i've i've reached out this far you know since the time that we've parted ways so i feel like this person just lived with so much dignity and they, are, they just became so proud not to tell you what really happened uh, to them, you know, during the time that they've run away and took off. And there's not even a single day that they did, did not even think about you or they, you know, that they don't want to reach out to you. They have tried, but during at that point, they don't have that much courage until the, the time comes for them to be busy with their career. That's the time that they really worked so hard and pounded themselves that okay i really want to in a, in a matter of three years i want to be stable like this i want to have the, so much money and i want to be like this i want to be like that and they have achieved their goals because of you but now they know and they understand your situation that yeah time passes by people move forward people move on people forget and st stuff like that but not this person this person until now that despite of i feel like you've been like You've already separated from this person for like 5 years or 15 years already. 
and you have lived with so much false hopes and you get tired of waiting because you thought that this person will never ever come back but then you know finally this person is already here and they're not gonna t it's not that they want to take you back from whoever you're with right now but they just want to answer all of your questions because they could still feel you and i feel like you have a very intense past life connection with this person okay and i feel like finally what they're gonna say is true that they will be able to answer all of your questions before like why i feel like during the times that you were still together since that you know as i've said that this person is younger than you and you're the one who's been like the breadwinner in your relationship especially if you have kids uh they feel a little bit you know um inadequate for you they also feel like um you know they are not they they don't really deserve you because you're too better than them you make a lot of money than them you know and uh as much as they want to prove their worth and their you know and as much as they want to spread their wings they explore more of their potentials they can't because they keep on compromising to you they, they have to do this so that you won't get jealous they have to do this so that you won't get mad they have to do this because of this because of that it's always because of you and they have made a lot of sacrifices in the past which is even until now to yourself you will say no that's not true i'm like this i'm like that so exactly that they did not bother explaining themselves to you in the past it's because that they know that you're not really that open and now that they're back not to you know not to ruin your life or not to or not to you know take you back from your relationship but they just want you to know that even if they have tried to move on in the past they never cheated on you and they just decided to sacrifice your relationship for the sake of their own future other things happen for a reason you know you, uh, you must admit that you've all that you have also learned a lot of things from this person right after they're gone and uh, when they also left the relationship and so is this person that they have fully grown and they became more matured more diligent more um persuasive and they are more you know um they are more into uh, big commitments, okay? You will be a little bit disappointed because, you, you know, right now you're kind of a little bit limited because you're already with somebody and you're so afraid that, of course, that if you will start talking or communicating with this person, it will just park another problem or another issue with your p current partner right now. But you can't help yourself not to not to talk or not to reach out to this person because there's a part of you that feels like no we're not yet done okay it's still an unfinished business and we still have a lot of things to talk about you need to answer all of my questions but a part of you oh just let it go it's already in the past i've already moved on and, and i'm already with somebody who's very you know magnificent and much more fabulous than you and you will be going back and forth back and forth with this whole thing for the first four days of the week until that you know you will just um see an opportunity because i feel that like your partner right now will be traveling or going away for a little while and that is the time that you will start you know um catching up a little bit and you also want to see this person in person you know so i don't see any um any potential of cheating but i feel like it's more of a closure for both of you and uh, especially if you're with the fire sign obviously that you will be lying to your partner but then this is also for your own good and for your own peace of mind okay now family matters i feel like your mother or somebody that's older than you which is a mother figure will also be calling you out for some family meetings or for some family discussions and it seems like you will be unavailable this week so you won't be able to attend to that and you will also start planning or making some plans around the weekends to travel quickly you know some out-of-town trips and uh, for you to 
ease your mind as well. And I feel like by the time that your partner goes back, you won't be home or you won't be there. So, by next week, I feel like there will be a little bit of attention. Your partner will be getting a little bit suspicious that you're hiding something from them. And it, which is true, you know, because you've been communicating back and forth and you will also be learning a lot of things about the truth that you're supposed to know years ago and now you're finally, you know, piecing out the puzzle and uh, there's a part of you that will also be somehow regretting it. But, you know, what's important is that you will be moving on with, uh, you know, with much more clarity, uh, which is, I'm not really sure if you're really going to be moving on or if you're going to be slowly breaking down this rela present relationship of yours to go back to that person from the past. And this person is still single, okay? Um, they've tried to move on with somebody before, but it not really worked out. So they did not try to go out on a date anymore. And this is the first time that they will be opening up themselves up and they will be opening up their heart again, which is you are the first in line. And, you know, this person used to be your spouse in your past life as well. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Gemini. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.